Yeah, guys, I'm just um, putting it out there about <clears throat> Zion Oil and Gas. We're looking at the chart here. Um, well, that's obvious, isn't it? The month chart, monthly chart, you can see dead as a door now. Anyway, I'm just <clears throat> making this video about videos, YouTube videos about Zion oil and gas, you see. Just beware, be wary of them. Be aware of them because a lot of those people, those content creators, prophecy videos, stocks videos talking about Zion oil and gas for the last four, five years, whatever, they tell you, I'm not going to mention any names, channel names, but there's one or two. They say, oh, you know, when Zion, when it was a dollar, you know, like when it was pumped over a dollar, but when it was around about a dollar, let's say, oh, they're going to add, they're going to hold, they're going to add, they're going to buy more. When it fell to 60 cents, same story you was hearing. They're going to add if it falls below, if it goes to 50, they're going to add, they're going to buy, they're going to buy, they're going to buy. I never show you any evidence, by the way. Not like, you know, like if you look at my channel, I'll show you evidence of my trades, my investments, etc. But they say, oh yeah, I'm going to add. Then it falls to 40 cents, you hear the same thing. Then it fell to 30 cents, then 20 cents, then it was like 20 cents for a long time. And you hear it hearing the same thing. Oh, going to add if it goes lower. It's a buying opportunity, blah, 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 on and on and on. Same old story. And we're going to change the chart here, the weak chart. Let's squeeze it a bit. Yeah, and then, well, well let's go to 20. Right, put the line on 20. There's the line on 20. My line I've created there. Because it was for 20 cents for ages. Like you can see back here. It was 20 cents running through here. Oh yeah, they're going to add, they're going to add. August 22 all the way back like November 21 September 21 basically for a year it was like 20 cents yeah they're going to add they're going to buy more if it falls lower they're going to buy more and then it fell to five five cents just where it is now a bit, a bit above like and, it, and, it, and they're carrying on with the same you know same nonsense about they're going to add, they're going to buy more, etc., etc., etc. I, I, I think that they're paid. They're paid, but they're, they're connected to the to the company, to Zion Oil and Gas, or they're paid by the company to keep it, you know, keep it fresh, keep people believing. Because they keep going on about it. No one's saying that they're going to buy. I mean, if you can still buy, and you bought at fifty cents. 40 cents, 20 cents, you haven't averaged down yet, you might think, oh yeah, I'll buy it five or six cents, I'll average down. You might take a chance, but not, you can't believe these people, what they're saying. You see it fell to five, what, like, yeah, five cents. A few times it was five cents. I mean, going back here, was that November last year? You see, see like this chart's not all that good but we'll just say five cents there you see it touched five cents quite a few times going back that was the first time when it crashed December 2022 so there's been loads of opportunities for that five cents you know Loads of opportunities, as you can see. Anyway, they say, point is, don't trust them. They've got no expertise, number one, right? They've got no experience trading or investing, number two. They just start a channel to get views, blah, 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 one, two, three years ago. They've got no experience trading. They haven't, tra if they're traded or invested, it's a small money. 
They haven't traded big money. They haven't lost big money. They don't know what it feels like to lose money. They don't know, basically, they, they've got no experience. If you haven't lost money, then you haven't, you, you can't, you, you're not a professional investor. You know, you haven't got that expertise. You haven't got that experience about losing money, about making money. How much have they made in one trade? When I traded Zion, going back, Zion oil and gas, back in the days, it went up to 90, 95 cents. I made five, 6,000, something like five and a half thousand, uh, one, one, one hit. But these people, you can't trust them. They've got, they've got absolutely no expertise and no experience you know they talk about averaging down averages down. i wouldn't average down i've got in one account i've got five thousand shares one point after i, I sold for 19 and then 90 and 95 cents share price fell i think it was it went down to 30 i started buying at 30 more and it went down to 20 dropped even further can't remember exactly, but my average, I think my average was like 2015 or something like that. I had something like 25,000, 25,000 shares. And then I decided to sell, not for profit at that point, just I, I, I felt that the price was going to go down. And anyway, I didn't want to short it. I was... I bought them from an American broker. I didn't want to short him. It's cut a long story. I just sold, got my money back. And um, now I've got 5,000 shares in one account. I'll show you here. You think I'm lying, blah, blah, blah. There you go. The 5,000 shares, I'm down 50%. So you can see there. So it's not big money. It's, it's only 5,000 shares, but and I got some more in another account. I can't remember exactly how many, but it might be five thousand or ten thousand shares. I can't remember. I, I don't. I don't even. I haven't looked for like a couple of years on that account, whatever. But anyway, my average price, as you can see, there was twelve, twelve cents, twelve point thirty six cents. Show you there, twelve point. 12.36 cents so that's how many shares i'm holding basically in the, in one account i told you the other account i can't even remember i think i bought much higher a higher price but i can't even remember how much it might have been 500 or 700 dollars or something like that average 50 cents something like that i don't i don't know but I, i've got as i say i'm holding zion i don't believe I told you, if you check my other videos, if the price goes up, it's a pump and dump. It's not going to be based on their fanned oil, you know, or they've got oil for production, etc, etc. You can check all my other videos. I'm transparent. I'll tell you, I'm not going to change my mind unless some material information comes my way. But basically, I told you, I made about five or six thousand in one hit, in one go, when it was about can't remember 20 30 cents something it shot up to 90 cents and yeah that was in one trade and as i said I, I, after that when i sold the price went down to 30 25 20 something like that and i had about 20 25 000. now as you see i've got five thousand shares i had about twenty five thousand shares um and i said i told you i decided to sell i thought the price was going down and it did it went down from my average i can't remember it was 20 25 cents price went down to where it is now basically so i called it right i called it right so the, the money i've got in it now this account and the other account it's not really big money so I've got no skin in the game per se, although I do hold some shares, as I said, but I got out at the right time. I called it right, I told you. But what I want to say is these other people, these videos you come across, these people saying they're buying, they're buying, they're buying, and the price is going down, down, down. They never show you any evidence that they're buying, etc., etc. 
it's all hearsay it's all trying to get views for content you know making content trying to get views they could be part of zion why would you be telling people to buy like all the way down you shouldn't be buying that often anyway if you are averaging down you check out my other videos about that you shouldn't be buying every like one two cents it goes down or whatever you don't that's not how it works that's why i knew when i listened to these videos that's why i know that they're full of it they don't know what they're talking about they've got no trading no investment experience no trading experience they don't know how to cost average they don't you know they don't know how to make money they don't know what it feels like to lose money and the advice the information they give is all rubbish and all the assessments about Zion, it's, it's all been rubbish from their channels, basically. Because I was calling this right when it was, I called it right when it went up to 90, 95 cents, from about 20, 30 or whatever it was. And then I called it right that it was going to come down. And that's why I, I basically pulled my money out. And I, I, went, I, went, I basically went all in of what I wanted to invest in Zion at the time. It was like 25,000 shares I had, something like that. And I called it right, I pulled it all out and that was it, crashed. But I think I called it right if you watch my other videos. I think I called it, I think I'm calling it right now about the company. I think I've made the right assessment. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but based on and watch my videos based on what I said, etc. etc. I think I'm right. So, what I'm trying to say is, don't you know, be careful when you're listening to these prophecy videos, etc. etc. They're telling you like they've had visions, they've had prophecies, they've had to hear from God, and all this and that. And then they're going to Zion's price is going to go to this and go to that. Based on what? Like, it's rubbish. You know, so that's what I'm just saying to you guys. Like, it's just a quick video about that, what I want to say. So when you go and watch these videos, remember what I told you if you're listening to this, or if you ever come across this or whatever. Remember what I told you, because I've been following this stock since, what, 2020, 2019, even before that. I think I first discovered it 2017 even 2015, 2015 it might have been, because I just when I discovered this stock, I discovered Genie Energy, and I was into oil stocks, etc. I think, yeah, right back from 2015, may have, may have even been before that, I can't even recall, but anyway, I know what I'm talking about. So these people, I'm telling you, they've got no clue, no clue at all.